all right so in my previous video i have discussed about the phd scholarship amount in ireland and whether it is sufficient to live with uh, a family or if you are coming alone now um in this video i want to discuss about the post doctoral researcher salary and uh, and whether it is enough to live in uh, in ireland with this amount so the post doc in ireland is uh, generally 3 years <coughs> somewhere between one year to three years i would say some postdoc positions are for one year some postdoc positions are for 18 months some for two years some for uh, 36 months so for three years currently i am on a postdoctoral uh, position for three years contract now again as i said before depending on the funding agency the postdoc salary varies uh, but not much very uh, not much variation so <clears throat> so i would say uh, i have asked many other friends uh, from different other university who are a postdoc scholar uh, postdoctoral researcher across the universities in ireland and uh, so the salary after tax so by the way postdoctoral researcher are not regarded as a student in ireland as i said before in my video that phd's are regarded as a student in ireland so they do not get they do not get a worker status in ireland but postdoctoral researcher gets a worker status in ireland and um, and so you have to pay taxes uh, to the government so um, yeah so so the tax in this country is very high uh, and uh, for example uh, it's like uh, after the taxes, uh, the postdoc scholarship will be amount somewhere between 2500 uh, euro to 2600 euro for the uh, entire uh, like uh, three years. So if you don't believe me, if you want to know more about it, we can discuss personally about uh, this, uh, how this deduction works and how this uh, taxes works so you can send me an email and we can uh, you, you we can have a one-to-one -one zoom call uh, if you want to know more about this so since i'm a postdoctoral researcher for almost one year plus and my salary is around 2500 euro uh, 2500 euro a little bit uh, more than that so uh, yeah so i think uh, if I if I see my uh, if I see my deductions, it is almost 700 euro per month uh, goes to deduction, several deduction. Uh, uh, so basically, uh, taxes and pensions and many others. So once you look a, a very detailed manner, uh, the pay slips of a postdoctoral researcher, you will understand. So, but moral of the story is that uh, you pay a lot of taxes in ireland as a postdoc or any other uh, job uh, so yeah so average as uh, yearly salary uh, for a postdoc uh, varies between 38000 uh, euro to 50000 euro all right so uh, uh, somewhere between this uh, this thing all right now um, now uh, now the cost of living and uh, whether this two uh, whether this 2500 euro 2500 2500 euro is enough uh, for living uh, in ireland uh, living in ireland so uh, so again as i said before in my uh, phd scholarship amount and cost of living video in my previous video that it is very difficult for as i said before 1500 euro is a scholarship for phd student and it is uh, very difficult for a family of two or three to stay in dublin cork and galway cities or counties like uh, this this because in dublin you have three universities uh, university college dublin trinity college dublin and dublin city university so you may have got a chance for doing a phd or postdocs in these three universities and you may be very much excited 
but uh, if you come uh, alone then the I, i will say this excitement is still sort of okay but if you plan to come with your family then um, uh, and based on the scholarship amount then it you, you may face a sad reality of uh, uh, of uh, ireland uh, cost of living in ireland uh, with your phd scholarship and also and also the postdoc scholarship uh, postdoc uh, salary is is kind of uh, terminally i would say terminally sufficient for a family of 3 because again uh, if you are a family of 3 and i would say if you uh, and i assume if you want to rent a two bedroom apartment or two bedroom house in dublin cork or galway uh, these three cities they are extremely uh, extremely expensive all right so two bedroom apartment two bedroom house uh, will cost uh, at the moment in this in this three sort of uh, cities on an average i'm saying average so of course it's it varies uh, case to case it will be around 1800 euro to 2400 euro all right so if your postdoc salary is monthly 2500 uh, 2500 uh, euro then you can imagine right after after paying uh, for the rent uh, then how much you can have you, you you have for your groceries for your clothing for your uh, for your uh, transportation for your uh, medicines and whatever expenses you may have right so you may ask that i have a family uh, i have a daughter and i'm staying uh, i'm doing a postdoc in in in, in ireland so because as i said to many other people and my friends that i am extremely lucky that i have got a postdoc uh, position postdoctoral position in atlantic technological university here in sligo so i was 4 years in dublin and i was also extremely lucky i was uh, i got a uh, I, I i got a very cheap rent uh, cheap rent from from my uh, co supervisor house house so he was extremely generous and he uh, allowed me to stay for the almost two and a half years in his house so i was extremely lucky but people may not be lucky like me and also here uh, in this ligo uh, the rent con- rental condition is still not a uh, disaster i would say okay just like in dublin cork and galway so if you will def- you will still get a three bed for example in sligo i am staying for last one year uh, in a three bedroom apartment in the heart of the town and it is just uh, uh, just an 1000 uh, 1000 euro uh, per month rent and 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 i think the similar sort of uh, house or similar sort of apartment in dublin cork and galway would cost me around two to i mean more than 2000 euro i understand so since i am in sligo and i am i am a postdoc and getting like 225 uh, 2500 euro per month that's why i i would say i'm still sort of able to provide my family and i'm able to sort of live and one more thing i want to say that if you have a uh, if you are planning to uh, buy a car and everything then and then you you have to pay some sort of uh, repayment for the car right so uh, unless you buy uh, you 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 have a lot of money from your home country and you spend that on the car for me it was completely on my from my own sort of salary and i had i i i bought a I bought a car and it's ex- maintaining a car in ireland is extremely expensive so still i am in sligo this is the reason i would say that um, I'm still able to cope up. I'll I'll not say I'm living very lavishly, and just terminally uh, maintaining my daily life. And uh, one good thing is that since I'm a postdoctoral researcher and I have a uh, I'm I'm regarded as a worker, I'm given a worker status in Ireland now. And so my wife was also given work permit. When I was a PhD student, my wife was uh, wife did not have any work permit. So she is to, she is also able to earn some 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 money uh, and contributing to the family. Uh, so I would say that again at the end of the day, where you are staying, that matters. So if it were in Dublin, in Cork or Galway, 
uh, I think I would have not uh, I would have not able to I will be probably not able to buy a car or uh, maintain a car so uh, uh, after providing everything for from my salary and so on so uh, so yeah so this is the sad uh, sad or happy or whatever reality you want to say a reality for the postdoc scholar postdoc salary in Ireland so it will be on an average sometime after tax after deduction all the deduction between 2500 uh, 2, to uh, 2600 uh, uh, for the for your uh, contract so if you want to know anything more just uh, drop a comment or uh, just send me an email uh, everything all my informations are there in my um, in this video description thank you